crazy with the saw. We're going to have to fix that though. But we got to pull that hub off of there so we can see how much we got to work with. As you see, we sweated off that hub and that T. Got this pipe to work with now. Get that repaired. Go from there. up the surface where I'm about to solder it back together. Took a piece of copper pipe, beat it down a little bit to close that saw cut back in. And even though I beat up the bottom of it a little bit, once I get it uh, soldered back, I can mold that back out by a pair of pliers where I can round it out again. But we're going to solder this up real quick and make this repair. We really can't go upstairs because there's a tile wall and also it involves a lot more work. We can't cut these joists and I've got just enough to make a connection to below. And that's what was understood when we started this job. But this copper pipe is paper thin and even though it's copper this won't get any significant wear and tear in this system because it serves as a vent and not a drain so many times when we do these stack replacements the venting stays in the house for the duration because it doesn't take on significant wear as opposed to what the existing drain line did there you go, there's the piping that we took out. This is the one that's been taking food waste, fecal matter, detergents, oils, soaps, saliva, body fluids. job now is to get these two pipes connected to this one. The toilet goes first, then we pick up the lavatory and the tub drain. It's going to come on down the wall. We're going to put in a new clean out and then connect back to that cast iron and we're done.